The SDK and API are two of the most common tools used in modern software development. They have a lot in common, and it's sometimes difficult to tell what each of them does. Both the SDK and the API, at their heart, allow you to easily improve the functionality of your application. It's critical to understand how both tools work on the backend, how they differ, and how they contribute to the whole development process in order to deliver on the promise of either or both, and to improve the experience both in-house and for end-users. The term SDK refers to a software development kit. The SDK, sometimes known as a dev kit, is a collection of software development tools for a certain platform, comprising building blocks, debuggers, and, in some cases, a framework or group of code libraries, such as a set of operating system-specific functions, OS. Some or all of these resources may be included in a typical SDK's collection of tools. Compiler converts from one programming language to the one you'll be using. Examples of code give a specific application or web page as an example. Framework code libraries give programmers a shortcut using code sequences they'll use again and again. Tools for testing and analysis provide information about how the application or product performs in both testing and production settings. Documentation provides instructions to developers that they can refer to as they work. Debuggers assist teams in identifying flaws in their code so that they may release code that works as planned. At least one API is frequently provided in the SDK since without it, applications cannot exchange data or collaborate. SDK allows you to track each user's interaction with your app or website and send tailored marketing messages. Its true power comes from the fact that it can do a lot of work in a short amount of time with just a few lines of code, from creating user profiles to logging custom events to triggering push notifications. An SDK is great for capturing massive amounts of data at the user level and automating a dynamic response. For the goal of saving time and ensuring a smooth integration, firms with apps will frequently go the SDK path to boost app performance or overcome problems that would be tough to handle in-house. Application Programming Interface API, is a term that refers to a set of tools that an API promotes communication between two platforms, whether it is used as a standalone solution or as part of an SDK. This is accomplished by allowing third-party developers to use its proprietary software. The API solutions developers can then allow their own consumers to use the service or services supplied by the API solution indirectly. Consider the relationship between a waiter and his customer at a restaurant. The customer orders something from the waiter. The waiter then goes back to the kitchen to inform the cook when the food is ready, and the waiter then brings the food out to the customer. The waiter is like an API call, bringing information and a request to the kitchen, where the request is either accepted and data is transferred or denied with an explanation as to why. So if you order the tuna, but the kitchen is out of tuna then the request can be completed. If your API request isn't completed you'll receive information. Despite the fact that both notions are intertwined and overlapped, let us distinguish their distinctions. As a result, an API establishes communication between two programs, whereas an SDK is the toolkit required to develop applications. SDKs can contain APIs, but APIs can contain SDKs. SDKs are easier to use and integrate than APIs. APIs don't have code libraries and are difficult to modify. APIs send a request from one app to another and return a response to the requesting app. SDKs contain everything you need to communicate with other software and to build software. Devs always use an SDK to build apps. APIs, on the other hand, are only used when external contact with other systems is required. In fact, APIs and SDKs provide developers with solutions, but each one is unique in its own way.